laid a pit and digged it, and it says, fallen into the ditch which he made. Evil persons will make a pit and dig a ditch for you, and they fall into the very ditch that they laid for you. That's what I call poetic justice. It's the very state that they intended for you, but it has them in their grips. Psalm 7, verse 16 states, His mister shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealings shall come down upon his own pate. Stop staying up late at night, worried about who's plotting on you. God has poetic justice scheduled for you. Right when your enemies were ready to hatch that block, birth their conspiracy, and launch their evil intentions upon your life, God, as the master cop of the universe, has a dose of poetic justice scheduled for him. For them, your haters have a date with poetic justice. God is our ultimate defender, has some plans for those who would desire, devise evil for your life. What they plan to dish out to you is coming right back upon them. That pit that they devised and that grave that they dug for you will be their new location. The more they aim at you as God's child is the more that they are ruining themselves. I know that some of you might not remember Elliot Ness and the Untouchables, but God has those who would help hold up his cause as the untouchable. Psalm 105, verse 15 states, saying, touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Look at someone and tell them I'm an untouchable. I'm untouchable. I ain't talking about Elliot Ness, I ain't talking about Al Capone, but I'm an untouchable. Isaiah 54, verses 16 through 17, on this uh, uh, acoustic way challenge Sunday, let me give you this. Uh, Isaiah 54, verses 16 and 17, behold, I have created the smith, God created the person that created the gun, that bloweth the coals and the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the master to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the saints, servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. God's not going to allow any weapon formed against us to prosper. That ditch that they're digging for you will get them every time. The righteous hand of God will bring the evil devices that others are busy planning for you down upon their own heads. Now isn't that poetic justice? Yeah, right. What people are designing for your shame and destruction is going to pounce on their lives Hallelujah. in the same manner that they intended it for you. Proverbs 26 verse 27 states, Whosoever digging a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. Your haters, your adversaries, and your enemies have it coming just like they dished it out to you. God's got a heavenly boomerang pointed towards your opposition. Your opposition has an appointment with God. Hebrews 10 verse 31 states, It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Let's make it our business to stay in sync with the plan of God on our lives. Let's keep our steps ordered by the Lord. Proverbs 18, verse 10 has these powerful words in its confines. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run it into it and is safe. If we stay right with God, God has our back. 